Welcome to the Awkward Zoo, and it's a new year. Can you believe it? 2020 is now gone. It's in the past. <laughs> let's forget about it. Uh, let's hope this year is going to be a good one. Uh, so yeah, so far no updates yet, but we got a new segment coming at you. Flip the script. Um, still keeping chew on this, and yeah, but first, we have, yeah, no new updates, um, I've been playing a lot of tower defense games, um, recently, again, um, like I said, uh, uh, I can't think of it, Kingdom Rush, um, Balloons TD, um, six specifically, he, uh, I got back into Plants vs Zombies two, um, because I don't know what happened to PVZ three, um, like announced and then it just kind of like disappeared. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been getting back into tower defense games on my phone. Um, I've been working on, um, connecting my iPad. I successively did it once, um, to the stream. But then it won't it won't connect again. Uh, I don't know why, but yeah. So I successfully did it once. Um, but I'm hoping so. Once I get that connected, I can. I have I have a bunch of digital board games on my iPad, and so I was going to stream that. But I, I can't get it to work. It like it's it was it's weird. I fucked out. Um, so I've been working on that. Um, Camera problems, camera issues should be fixed now. Um, I say should, um, but you never know. There could be issues up, up and running. But it should be fixed. It should be good. I should have no issues now, um, especially in, in even in Zoom calls as well. I should have zero issues because there's always an issue. There's always a problem with it kind of detecting the camera. But I think those problems are solved. Uh, I believe <laughs> not a hundred percent no no guarantees <laughs> but yeah so there's that uh, what else have I been doing um, yeah I've just been grinding on Marvel Avengers uh, I tried out the new fall guys um, season three the winter so that's I actually like some of the new levels um, the new winter levels are pretty interesting they added some new elements um of things especially particularly launching like launching you um knocking you off the stage launching you further into the stage so, so it was pretty interesting it's pretty cool um i'm probably done with it now until the next season <laughs> uh but yeah that was awesome and then i've been meaning to ch go back into um ninjala uh, which is on the switch uh, I've been meaning to go back into that because um, at first it was like it was okay it was it was it was it was good um, it was just starting and now it's kind of had its runs and they have like new game modes as well and so oh well, maybe I'll jump back into that um, and see see if anything's improved uh, and like the new game modes particularly the the one or technically two game modes that they have. Yeah, team and um solo. It's just it was, it, was, uh, it got it got stale pretty fast. Uh but hopefully um I know they put in some good new game modes. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll check back into it. Um but yeah. Let's head on to True on this. So Today's chew on this, we're talking about marshmallows, the sticky, gooey, chewy, fluffy, sometimes melt in your mouth depending on what you, which ones you get or if you make it yourself, marshmallows. And uh, yeah, it's like the sugary goodness <laughs> that is the campfire. Um, king <laughs> uh, must have um, yeah so we're gonna talk about marshmallows 
So basically, how it gets its name um, is that it was originally, I say originally because it's not made like this anymore. Originally, it was made from a plant, a mallow plant, um, the roots of the mallow plant. And it also, this plant lives, grows, lives, grows in marshland. And so you, so you're just combining that together and you got marsh mallow <laughs> very simple very simple and because it's made from this like plant this is actually this this treat this thing is actually the um dates back to 2000 bc whoa <laughs> like because if you think about how you make it it's just like really this thing can go that far back but yeah so it's nothing we don't know what it looked like back then um we, we have no clue what it looked like back then um but it's completely different from today obviously because of how it's made today but so back then it was made from this plant the mallow plant the sap um and it was mixed with nuts and honey and all kinds of things things and it was a treat only for the pharaoh and um other royalty and the gods um is how they saw this treat they saw this thing and so that's how it was but it was until the 1800s and guess who guess who guess who Guess who? Guess who changed how marshmallows were made? Uh, the Parisians. <laughs> you gotta love the French. Uh, <laughs> like the, the French and their style of cooking. Of course, it's the French who came with this technique and stuff. Uh, <laughs> so the early 1800s, the French get a hold of this sap. And what they did was they whipped the sap from the root root and they put it into fluffy molds I don't know what that means um, but they put it into molds as they whipped it up and this was done by hand and it took a very long time if you can imagine like if you imagine like whipping meringue by hand or like whipping heavy cream by hand um, like you're whipping the sap by hand um, and also a meringue as well because it is made with egg whites. Um, they use egg whites, the sap, um, and sugar. Here, and they put them in molds. And that's how you got marshmallows. Um, but it, it became popular. It became super popular. Here, and they couldn't make enough uh, <laughs> for the demand. And so they changed the method again of how to make it. Um, and so... Part of partly is because they didn't have molds, um, and so they changed the method and then they started using starch molds. Um, starch molds in candy making in, is essentially just cornstarch in a box, box that you sift it and kind of compact, and you press in um, the mold. You press in the shape that you want, and then you pour in um, your candy, and from there it will harden, crystallize, and become whatever candy that you need it to be um, so that's what starch molds are and so they so they use the starch molds to get that kind of classic um, look to a marshmallow um, and then they switched out the mallow root so it's no longer made from the mallow plant sap and they changed it with gelatin um, to make it more stable um, oh, and so yeah, so there's a few changes there that they did uh, to make marshmallows um, readily available and worldwide. And then it came to the U.S. in the 1900s. And in 1948, a man named Alex Domac created a process for manufacturing the marshmallow. So he created um, an extrusion machine. And so that's how you get the... Um, tube shape um the cylindrical shapes of marshmallows that you find in common st grocery stores or is because it's, a, it's extruded and then cut um this guy later began this 
um, this company later becomes the Campfire Marshmallows. Oh, and that's where I found this information at, as well as CandyUSA.com. I also found this information at. Um, um, some fast facts we have uh, Americans are the main consumers of marshmallows, which is like not a big surprise, but how much um, This is a pretty big number um, they Buy more than 90 million pounds of marshmallow that's Like that's pretty crazy like I knew it was a lot, especially like during um, summer and like camps and stuff, because they're like, cause like you gotta have s'mores, you gotta have toasted marshmallows. Like there's no going around that when you have a camp. Um, but <laughs> that's still ninety million. That day, a lot of that's a lot of marshmallows. I gotta say that's a lot of marshmallows. Um, and speaking of s'mores, all right, no one knows who created s'mores, but it's been recorded in 1927. It's been recorded in the Girl Scout handbook as a recipe in 1927. That's where it's been recorded. No one knows who made it, first made it, who first did it. Um, it's also supposed to be give me some more, or is what it, right? S'mores. Give me some more, you know. It's just that good, sweet, chocolatey, toasty, roasty goodness, ram cracker goodness. But the recipe has been recorded in Girl Scout Handbook in 1927. I don't know why I keep repeating that. <laughs> Another fast fact: uh, <laughs> Marshmallow capital of the world is um, I don't know how to pronounce this. Lignornier, Noble County, Indiana. So the martial capital of the world is in Indiana. Hey, just say some fast facts. Okay, so how marshmallows are made. So they used to be made from the mallow plant with mallow plant with egg whites and sugar. And they whipped up. Now it's changed to gelatin instead of the sap. Sap and and you can choose to exclude the egg whites. Um, you can choose to exclude egg whites. You don't have to make a meringue. Um, um, but you can choose, so you can just choose to whip up sugar. You, so you cook up the sugar to, I believe, the soft ball stage, 240 Fahrenheit. Um, and I believe it's a 180 Celsius. You cook up the sugar to that temperature and then you whip it up with the gelatin and boom you got marshmallow um gelatin is not vegan or vegetarian it is made from animal joints and marrow and stuff uh so it's not it's not vegan it's not vegetarian so you look for so be sure when you're buying marshmallows to look for that make sure that it's vegetarian um, is vegan um, you can find vegetarian gelatin you can find vegetarian gelatin also a lot of you can find vegetarian gelatin also agar agar can be replaced with gelatin as well but side note agar agar does not have the same texture um, agar agar gelifies in a different way um, and so it's not gonna be similar as similar in texture, but it still works. It works. It's just not gonna be a. Uh, it's, it will be a little different. Um, <laughs> yeah, just just a side note. If you do use agar agar, it's gonna it's gonna be a little different. Um, um, just because of the nature of how agar agar are um, sets things. Um, but yeah, also for those of you who need to know gelatin, you also have to watch out for gelatin. Um, if you're, if you're avoiding certain animals as well, in particular, like pork, um, cause gelatin is generally a mix of, 
of animal products um so you should you should look out for that as well um there is all beef gelatin that you can find um if if that throwing it out there like if if you do have if you're not vegetarian but you do have issues with other animals um look for or specific gelatin so just be wise uh, um, um what you buy uh just just make sure just double check make sure um so yeah that's that's marshmallows marshmallows on to flip the script so flip the script is a new segment it's not a new concept it's not a new idea like it's just me now bringing what I already think into life. Um, as of now, um, because I don't really follow very closely to pop culture and stuff in media as of lately, and especially because I'm broke, I'm not really watching anything either. So I can't really talk about anything actually really relevant actually and so we're just gonna go into the archives <laughs> we're gonna go into the archives and talk about those uh, but the point of flip the script is we're viewing these um in a biblical perspective and we're gonna dive into the archives um guys uh, and so for today's flip the script um is wally we're flipping the script on wally um, um a lot of you if you know me you hear me talk about this quite often uh not not so often but you you hear me talk about it <laughs> about it and, um but but wally's very uh a um biblical illusion isk um there's a lot of symbolism a lot of a lot of things connected to wally um in general the story okay, is noah's art Wally Wally is basically the a modernized version of Noah's Ark, right? Uh, the story of Wally is the earth becomes polluted, unable to live, and so they must go into these big ships, it's the Axiom, um, and they go off into space, live in space while these robots clean the earth. Um and then once the earth is back to being inhabitable uh, then the ships are supposed to come back um, story of Noah's Ark is the world becomes wicked it's so wicked that God destroys it with a flood but then he picks Noah uh, and Noah finds favor in his eye and he picks Noah and he tells him to build an ark for all the animal and his family they, and he floods the earth they're in an ark right? they're safe in the ark and then and once the waters have subsided they go out and repopulate the earth right okay so very similar um how it gets even more similar is is one how noah finds out that the earth is ready and inhabitable is that he sends out a dove of uh, he sends out a dove uh, and the dove brings back an olive branch and and that's when he knows those the that's when he knows that the earth is in, is habitable again and and in the movie we have e Eve is white like a dove, flies like a dove, and what does she do? This female robot do finds a plant and brings it back to the axiom, and the axiom then knows the earth is inhabitable again. Very similar. Uh, <laughs> Along with that, we have Eve, the name just in the name Eve, um, and we have the main character Wally, 
Buffy, who at this point, as we see in the movie, is all alone and by himself, working, uh, just working alone by himself, um, which is very like um, Adam and Eve. We see at the beginning of creation in Adam, who God creates Adam, and he's all alone, and he's he's working, and he's all alone, alone, and then along, and then he makes Eve, right? Right, and so in the beginning of the movie, we have Wally all alone, and along comes Eve. Eve, and he like instantly falls in love. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> that that's a, that that part's a bit iffy, you know. But we have so we have so we have like in the beginning we have Adam and Eve. We have this whole overarching story of Noah's Ark, and then even and then even at the and then on on the Ark. All right, we have uh, people that Wally meets and interacts with. Um, um, two people that Wally meets and interacts with, and their names are John and Mary. So Wally interacts with two people on the Axiom, and their names are John and Mary. Um, which kind of goes back into Jesus, kind of going back to Jesus. Jesus, as, as, as he comes to, to the earth and does ministry and, and does things, he interacts with people, right? right? And he changes their lives, right? right? And particularly John on, on one of the disciples. Holds, and Mary, there's a lot of Marys in the Bible, <laughs> especially in Jesus' time. Um, and each one, when Jesus has it impacted, and each one that's named, Jesus has it impacted in a powerful way. Okay? And Wally, as he meets John and Mary, he opens their eyes, right? right? And impacts them in a powerful way okay? to where they, they go out of this lazy lifestyle you know, and see a whole new world when he, Jesus interacts with John and Mary, right? right they, they, they've seen the light. They've seen the goodness yes, and become his disciples and go forth and are new, brand new, right? right and so similarly here, and then as well, Wally like, and the misfits, right? The broken robots. <laughs> right, right, he sets them free. He, he, whoever Wally interacts with, he he changes them. Right, right. He, right. Even the little um, dirt guy that scrubs, scrubs, as well as like all the misfits. It's broken robots. That's uh, right, right. And same thing. Jesus went to the widow. Jesus went to the tax collector. The hated the these sinners and likewise Wally like, interacted with everyone and, and, and so there's like that symbolism there to kind of Jesus and even in the end he sacrifices himself of an order, order to, to save, save the ship and make sure the ship gets to earth and and he sacrifices himself as well, and so there's this, there's a lot of symbolism. There's a lot of things to just like kind of break down and look at in Wally, the and comparing it to the Bible. It's not perfect, right? None of these these shows are her things and stuff of uh, are perfect um, examples. Of, not, not none of them would be perfect examples of of it, but. But it does, it can reflect and point to, to the perfect one and example, All right? Just keep in mind, like, none of these are going to be exact. None of these are going to be perfect, right? Right, compared to the actual Bible, compared to the actual thing. And these will, these will fail. These will fail in comparison. But if you can get glimpses, we can get an understanding and a new perspective when you look at it from that way. Okay. Um, okay. And so this is just kind of like a stepping stuff, right? Right. People can like people can connect to Wally. 
um, Wally and understand Wally and the emotions, all of that behind it, it, uh, right? And just like as we continue, like people can connect, connect these things. People have seen these things, things, right? right? People seen Wally. People seen, in Karate Kid. People seen, people see and watch, uh, right? They listen to Taylor Swift. They listen to, right? Right, like people listen to these things, see these things, hear these things, watch these things, things, and if you can, the whole point of this like segment of the series is is can you glean from what people are already paying attention to, and then bring it back, flip it, flip the script, flip it, and bring it back to God, bring it back to the Bible, oh. And, and you can and then you have those kind of stepping stones right right of leading people towards there's god towards the savior um which is like an example like, and a good example that i use all the time is wally right it's the story of noah's ark you have adam and eve you have jesus uh some interactions right right it's, it's so simple so or something and so, so uh, um, I hope this opens up discussions, especially in the future as we cover different things, things, um, and different movies, different songs, um, shows, those uh, other things that's happening. Hopefully, I can make it even more relevant to the things that <laughs> are happening currently, airing, currently showing. Um, but yeah, but I'm broke and don't really know what's popular either. So <laughs> I'll do my best to be relevant. Um, but until then, um, until like the non-relevant stuff, you will keep rolling out with um, until I can be relevant. Um, so if I'm relevant to the time, I'm relevant to the time. But live is I'm not gonna like uh, yeah. I'll do my best to be relevant. Um, <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. I'll do my best to be relevant. Um, for for the time being, um, we'll probably be bouncing around a lot with Disney Pixar, because there's there's a lot to glean from. There's a lot to talk about in those movies. Um, so we'll be bouncing around from Disney and Pixar um, and other stuff as well. Um, but yeah, so let's flip the script. Let's wrap things up. So we had marshmallows with Chew on this. We have uh, flipping the script on Wally. -E. Um, some great things. Um, uh, my question is to you. <laughs> I'm just thinking. Uh, I gotta really write these questions down. Uh, my questions to you, you guys, y'all, uh, is um, do you guys like marshmallows? Do you like it now, even though you know it's now made of just purely sugar? Uh, um, um, and do you like toasted marshmallows? What do you like? What do you like about marshmallows if you like it? Or do you hate it now because you know it's just pure sugar? Uh, uh, as well as um do you agree with what what i said about wally -E? um can you see it do you agree do you disagree um i don't know let me know oh uh, in the comments and what do you think about wally -E and what i said uh, oh something happened i don't know what happened camera it was weird like i said not a hundred percent guarantee of what the camera, if the camera works or not. <laughs> Perfect example right there. Um, I don't know what just happened, but it just like flickered. Um, but yeah, so that's it. Um, if you're listening, you have no worries because this is just audio. Um, you don't worry about what just happened. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay yeah we're done here um so i hope you will have a jelly day 
Bye.